Shifting focus to the other big story we're tracking this Friday. There are firm indications that Pakistan plans to escalate ceasefire violations along the international border. Now, according to sources, even though there has been no ceasefire violations since yesterday morning, large mobilization of Pakistani troops has been reported across the border in the Samba sector. This is being seen as a sign of escalation of tension by Pakistan. Remember, Indian troops had retaliated strongly to ceasefire violations after one BSF Jawan was martyred on Tuesday. Retaliatory fire by Indians had reportedly killed four Pakistani rangers, forcing Pakistan to bring out a white flag. Let's get a word from Shuja Al Haq, our correspondent who's with us live from Srinagar. Shuja, what's the kind of troop movement that, that is being reported on the Pakistani side of the international border today? Well, that's right, uh, Simi. We've been told by our sources that, uh, you know, at least uh, along the uh, international border in, in Samba area where the entire tension uh, started, uh, there has been uh, an unusual movement of uh, troops on the Pakistani, si Pakistani side. Uh, throughout the night uh, yesterday and even today, uh, we've, been t we've been told by the sources who are at the fr you know, forefront uh, that uh, more uh, men are being pushed in uh, at various spots, uh, particularly in, in, uh, you know, on the border outpost. Uh, uh, in in Samba area, remember this is the place where uh, where the in initial tension had begun, in which uh, you know one of the BSF soldiers lost his life, and then there was uh, uh, immense firing being reported from both sides, uh, and, and 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 casualties were reported from the Pakistani side as well. Uh, throughout the night, uh, uh, after that, uh, there was the, there were firings that took place right. in at least 15 border outposts. Uh, so far, what we have been learning is last night it has been quite peaceful, but uh, uh, tension seems to be uh, you know brewing and escalating uh, with these kind of news reports that uh, you know mobilization of troops is being seen and monitored on the other side of uh, the international border right uh, Shida, even as the situation on the ground uh, remains tense uh, would you describe the troop movement as a true build-up or uh, a troop mobilization and uh, how frequently is it reported well, since yesterday, they, uh, our sources are saying that the troops are being built up. Uh, what basically that means is that uh, uh, more men are being deployed uh, at, at sensitive places, at uh, border outposts from their side. Uh, remember, we've been talking about it. We've been reporting that uh, uh, after after the firing that uh, uh, that happened from Indian side, uh, there were white flags that uh, were seen on on the other side, uh, which clearly meant that Pakistan wanted uh, some sort of uh, truce. But uh, immediately after that, throughout uh, uh, throughout the night uh, of, of yesterday's night, we've we've been reporting that at least 15 to 16 border outposts were fired upon. Uh, though there is a little lull in in the firing, but uh, I was I was on the ground zero. Just came back from uh, Samba area, and I can tell you that the people living uh, in uh, along uh, along the international border in villages are terrified, are scared. Uh, they don't know which way it can go. Most of them have even uh, in, you know left their houses in, and are and going to adjoining villages. So in this kind of atmosphere, uh, these news news uh, items and reports and confirmations that the mobilisation is happening, troop build-ups right. build-ups are happening are being seen seen out or monitored clearly are not good news as far as uh, the relations between the two sides are concerned at least on the international border absolutely especially coming after that white flag that was shown by park rangers this has come as a surprise move by pakistan Shira, thanks so much for that update